adventure now today's adventure I have um, I'm very surprised I've had this for a while and I didn't realize that I didn't wear this or do a review on her but this is Paula Young's Valentina and she actually is still available so it's in the number 10 medium ash brown and she's another long one and and she's got these really cute bangs in the front so see the color it's a medium ash brown. We've got basic cap. So we've got the velour front with the hair sewn in. We've got open ears and we've got the open extended nape with the Velcro adjusters and all the open wefting in the back. And we've got some good stretch. So I have on as normal. So I'll say it again for those of you that are new in case you're watching. So I switched to the Milano wig grip cap because I was having some issues with the wigs, you know, riding up in the back. And since switching to the wig grip cap, which is the grip and then the cap together, it has reduced the riding up. It does not make it hotter for me, um, but it definitely helps, you know, securing the wig underneath the, you know, the cap in the back. And it just, um, it helps, it has helped reduce, you know, having to pull down on the wig during the day. So just wanted to give that update because I haven't done that in a while. All right, so let's put her on. Fix her ears. Where is the other ear? And then make sure she's in the right spot. All right, isn't she pretty? I love the little, this, the, the short bangs here. Um, I do have it in the middle. Now this probably could use, um, to really make it more realistic, we could probably pluck this. You know, really pluck this good. But we do have we do have some permatees in there. But isn't this pretty? I was so surprised that I hadn't worn her. Um, I just grabbed a bunch of long ones for this week. Trying to figure out what to wear. You know, it's winter now, so I love my long ones. But yeah, she can definitely probably use some plucking so we can get a more realistic part. So let me see, for permatees, it doesn't feel like a lot. Let me see. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a lot. Um, no, it doesn't feel like a lot at all. The, the wig feels very light. It is long, but it, do, it does feel light. Let's see what we got for coverage here. So... Um, yeah, my sideburns are growing in, so it's time to cut, but we've got good coverage. See, we've got good coverage over here. My ear is here. So good coverage. So the cap is fitting very nice. Um, I haven't, I don't, um, I don't usually make any adjustments to the, um, you know, where, when it comes in, I haven't made any adjustments to where it was sitting when it came in. So I would say that's probably pretty average. I'm 21 and a half, but isn't this pretty? I, I just love the, the way that the bangs are cut and this is flowing. Let me just comb it out a little bit, make sure. The fibers feel very good. Doesn't feel dry and stiff. Cause you know, I've been having a problem with that. I really, um, you know, I want it kind of loose and flexible. So this doesn't feel dry and stiff. Let me take you around. Let 
Yeah, so this is Valentina in number 10 from Paula Young in the medium ash brown. And I will take you over and show you my outfit. I'm just running errands today. I am on vacation from my regular job. So yeah, isn't it pretty? I'm loving it. And the basic cap, if you look, you know, it, it's, it's okay. Like with the way that they have the bangs, like I don't really feel like it's that wiggy. So you're not really missing the lace front that much, you know, with the basic cap, with the way that they have the bangs. So I'm loving this. All right, let me take you and show you my outfit. All right, so I'm just wearing this maize colored blouse with a pair of jeans and my sneakers. So really casual today, nothing fancy, but um, I think that uh, Valentina goes really good. So that's it. This is the outfit for today, super casual, just run to the bank running some errands. And I will let you know and show you what she looks like at the end of the day. So kind of do a comparison with Chanel, how Chanel, Chanel really um, split up and got PC. You know, let's see how Valentina does with the Paula Young, the more affordable brands. Let's see how she does as a long wig at the end of the day. All right. Thanks for stopping by and I will see you tonight. Hi, everyone. Okay, here's my end of night summary. So here's what she looks like at the end of the night. Now, obviously, so let's see, I put her on about 12, it's about nine at night, so it's about nine hours. So obviously during the day, we comb our hair. So I'm giving you like, I haven't combed her or touched her in, you know, three or four hours. But she definitely didn't break up as much as Chanel. But she's a little PC. But she's still, you know, you just, you just gotta give her a quick comb, you know? And she's not that, not that tangly. I loved Valentina today. I loved her. Okay, so this is Valentina and um, she feels very, very light on my head. Um, I did not, even though she's a long wig, I did not hardly feel like I had a wig on today. But one other thing that I wanted to walk you guys through, let me take this off. So I wanted to walk you through what I do to my wigs when I take them off at night. So especially with a long one. So I have two products. I have a small bottle of this. It's a control wig and spray, or I use the John Renault. So what I do is I spray the whole wig. I, well, I spray the back and I comb it out. And then I use the Simply Styling for inside, you know, the, the nape and put some of the um, silicone spray on the inside of the nape. So I comb my wigs out with those two products before I hang them back up to go back to where they are. So um, that's how I take care of them um, and put before I put them away. So I just want, <clears throat> excuse me, I just wanted to give you that update because I don't think I've done that in um, probably a very long time since I first started, but just wanted to give you a rundown of what I do to the wigs after I take them off and before I put them away. All right, so thank you so much. I appreciate you stopping by. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to join my channel. And those of you that have, I appreciate you all so very much. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.